guys, how you doing? So today our plan is to install a diesel heater in here. It's starting to get cool here in New England. I have one of those cheap Chinese ones. So I'll drill. It just says to take a little bit off of that. Actually, I might use the jigsaw on that and drill another hole back here for the fuel line. It's just a small one. So we finally got the Chinese diesel heater installed. We ran into a problem here. It was leaking from right in here. At first we thought maybe it was the clamps because the clamps they give you are very cheap. They're, they're these little things. So we put in some better clamps in these four spots just to be sure. But then I think where it was leaking was actually where the plastic meets that little o-ring there. So we tried using some of this. The tricky thing is you need to get something that can handle the diesel fuel. So this actually wouldn't stick to the plastic tank so that didn't work. We got a little bit in there so maybe a little bit helped. Then it went then I went and got this gasket maker and it's for fuel. So if you see that gray stuff there, it needs to cure for 24 hours. So we had to dump out the diesel fuel and take the tank down and everything and wait a day. But it's working now. So that's good. Let me just give you an overview of the whole system. So here's a diesel tank. Uh, we just built a little shelf in order to give some support because those screws aren't that long. We just put it there with L brackets. So then you have to connect this. This is the fuel filter and it comes down here. Now we did have this put like that, but I was afraid that was causing the leak. So I don't know if I'm gonna tack that up somehow. Like with these things, I'm not sure because it is hard to pull these things out with it like that. But I don't need to pull those out too often. So it comes down the line and then you connect it to the fuel pump. Now I watched some videos, I guess the fuel pump can be pretty noisy. So somebody had said if you suspend it so it's not actually on something, you won't get that vibration. So it looks kind of ghetto right now, but this is just what I'm doing for now. I've just got some gear ties, I've got it hanging here. It comes with this rubber mount, but we just taped on a ring and just kind of Mickey Moused it. So then the fuel line goes underneath the bed. I've got to connect that to the wall. So there's a fuel line coming from the front of the bed, and this is where we put the heater. So the heater's partly under the bed and partly under this white cabinet, this white drawers. I wanted to put it all the way under just the white drawers but there's a big frame underneath, so we couldn't drill the holes there. So we had to do it this way, but it's laying flat over there. So Doug built this box to protect it. Uh, I do need to add another piece of wood over here to protect the wire. And then the hose for it, looking at it from the doorway. You see the hose up there? We've got the hose coming out of the heater and then turning and it comes out the vent. 
So we took advantage of needing to make this box and we left a little spot here. This would be good for a pair of shoes or two. So the wiring is right there. We've got some command strips with the little cable loops right there. And it goes through here. And this doesn't rub when we sit on the bed. So the negative wire, the ground wire, is really short. It ends right here. But the positive wire is plenty extra with a fuse in it. So it had plenty of room to get to the goal zero. But for the negative, we had to buy some wire. This yellow wire, we connected it to the negative. And then, it's hard to tell right now, but this is a splitter. So it's a 12 volt plug. And then it has two sockets coming off of it. So one, I've got the 12 volt fan, the Max Air fan plugged in. And then this one, we cut the outlet off of it and Doug wired it, the negative and positive right here. Now, usually I'm not gonna probably want the fan at the same time as the heat, but you never know. I wanted to have that option. So this just plugs into the goal zero. You see it's lit up. And it's a mess of cords, but believe it or not, that's as organized as we could do it. There's just so much extra here. But the curtain covers it. So then the wire goes to the controller up the wall there. And there's a controller. We had to watch some videos to figure out how to use a controller. It's not that, it's not that easy. There's some buttons that you have to hit in combination in order to prime the pump for the first time. But there's, there's videos on YouTube on how to do that. So we got it running. It works great. It really puts off a lot of heat. This weekend I'll be in the van, so I'll get to test it out because it's getting, it's getting in the high 30s here at nighttime in, in Massachusetts. We went right from a heat wave to fall. So I'm happy with this because I didn't really lose much of my storage, just that little corner. And once I put a board there, I'll be able to put more things in here because the heater will be protected. This is where I kept my dumbbells, so I do need to put something there to protect it. In the other end, so I ended up, I also insulated the wheel well while I was over there. You can see the thin slate there. And that's the intake area, so I kept the insulation away from it. So I was concerned about putting it here because I had to make these drawers up higher because I was really happy with the way everything was. So I was almost not even going to put in a heater, but it was already getting cold. So I'm happy with the way this came out. It doesn't look too bad. It's not that much higher than the bed. Still have the mirror and everything. So and it ended up with a little bit more storage. So if you get this uh, heater, there's all different kinds of the cheap Chinese ones. I think this is like $150. They're all a little bit different. The exhaust pipe is not very long, so I'm going to have to, we ordered another piece so we can, we want to be able to put the exhaust out the back of the van, not, it's blowing like right on the tire right now. So that's one thing we're going to have to change. But we found the directions to be kind of useless. I mean, they're in English, but they're, it's not, they're not real clear. So you're best off watching some videos. If I think of it, I'll put a link in some videos that were really helpful to us. So let me know in the comments what you think and what kind of heater you might use. And please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Take care.